Namaste, my dear friends, my dear gods and my dear masters. Today, in 21 ITP Alpha training, we are going to get clarified on a few things. We always hear about one common term called fasting. But the real meaning of fasting is not just keeping the body without food. The real meaning of the fasting is to keep the mind empty. When during the Shivaratris in my childhood, they tell me, don't eat any food. And they say, whole night you must be awake. I never used to understand why. They say it is very good if you are awake for the whole night. Then I used to ask, what should I do? They say, let us watch three or four movies. For the whole night, one after the other, one after the other, we used to watch the movies. And ultimately in the mid, somewhere, we become tired and we sleep. So this was happening in my home for many years. When my spiritual journey started, then I got this clarification from my Guru. The whole day, the fasting on Shivaratri means the whole day you are in meditation. When you are in meditation for the whole day, when the mind is in fasting, then in the night, your third eye is open. So you are fully awake. So this is the real meaning. Not just keeping the body without food and just for the namesake awake and watching movies. This is not what is the real meaning. Many times we don't know what we are doing. The fasting and the awakening means fasting the mind or an awakening the third day. Then you are awake, then you are aware. At least once in a lifetime on Shivaratri day, the whole day morning if you are meditating, and the whole night the third day will be completely open. This is once in a lifetime, at least once we must do it then you become fully awakened. Many a times we don't know the real meanings. When we are hungry, we must eat. Otherwise, the body becomes tired. The mind always crawl for food. Then there is no fasting. Only outside you are doing fasting. The inside, that is always a craving. Whatever we do, we see, we hear, we speak, we smell. Remember, it should amplify your cosmic energy. It should not deplete your cosmic energy. If there is something really useful, open your mouth and talk. Otherwise, be in silence. And even when we talk, Keep it crisp, short, and clear. I don't have anything called casual talks. The past 20 years, I never had any casual talks, nor I encourage anybody around me to have a casual talk. Beating around the bush, simply talking for the name's sake. Upfront, I tell them, can we talk anything useful? If you are unable to tell, simply you start sitting in meditation. Either they will sit along with you or they will leave. I do that always. If I feel that situation around me is not in my control, people are talking and blabbering something, 
and when they continuously repeat the same mantras they continuously speak about themselves or continuously speak about some nonsense so if you cannot say stop it simply sit in meditation we will never ask them to say hey don't talk i don't talk rubbish because they may be a highly egoistic person or they may highly get hurt who knows if you are able not able to say no simply you sit in meditation i do that always <clears throat> so that my cosmic energy will not get depleted if someone speaks about something continuously again and again and again if it gives you irritation or annoyment you should not encourage such emotions rather you just simply sit in meditation so you disconnect from that emotion it's a very positive way to divert your energies instead of looking at them with anger or yelling at them or giving a hint to stop simply you sit in meditation so you get disconnected if you close your eyes any person who is talking to you will shut their mouths <clears throat> without your eye contact they are not going to talk to you so the best way to disconnect someone who is depleting your energy simply you close your eyes they will leave without eye contact they will not talk to you or they may try for a minute and then they will automatically stop to switch off their radio you switch off your tv to switch off their mouth you switch off your eyes it's a beautiful technique i tried it 100 times it always worked we need not tell them anything you just close your eyes they will stop talking remember nobody has patience they will wait for one or two minute and then they will leave so that your cosmic energy is not depleted and if you are in a situation where your your control is taken by others or you want to get out of something but you cannot physically go anywhere disconnect by sitting in meditation you must always do anything which will amplify your energy not deplete your energy if your energy gets depleted that is when the irritation comes in depression comes in anger comes in so many things comes when the energy is low you must do everything that will amplify your energy what you speak and what you eat matters a lot for this physical body remember one more thing is very important try to understand never give anybody any explanations we always try to give detailed explanation when somebody questions us when somebody has any doubt on us or somebody authoritatively asking us anything if you give a detailed explanation anyway they are not convinced anyway they will not believe you but remember by giving unnecessary explanations you are depleting your cosmic energy nobody likes to give explanation because it is your free will it is your life and it is your wish if you continuously sit and give explanation why you did why you spoke like that you are depleting your cosmic energy always connect with your breath always connect with meditation when there is nature open the eyes and observe the nature you will draw a lot of cosmic energy when there are animals when there are kids observe it 
so that you draw a lot of cosmic energy. So what kind of food goes inside? Either it depletes your energy or it will increase your energy. It has to be only vegetarian food, more raw fruits and fruits. Then you increase your cosmic energy. And what you hear is very important. You must be very, very aware what goes here. There is a small part here. If you press it, no sound goes in. But if somebody is speaking, you cannot do like this. Then they will feel, what? So remember, when, when they are, some people, they continuously speak the same thing for 10 times, 20 times. When they are telling for the second time, I always tell them, I understood when you said for the first time. Then they stop because you are making them aware. Because it's just a practice. They continuously tell 100 times the same thing. You should either make them understand or you should simply sit in meditation or leave that place. Otherwise, it becomes a program. Your mind doesn't know the facts. It's like a recording machine. Whatever it hears, it will start believing. The more and more and more the same thing somebody says, you will start believing it. Recently, I met a person. He is controlling a whole group just by keep on repeating few things for hundreds of times. I was just observing. I don't know whether to pity on those people who are continuously listening to their stories or to be angry on that person who is programming them. So I just witnessed and I got out of that place. Your version of truth is yours. But if you continuously keep on telling to the same group of people, even the false becomes truth one day. And ultimately, when you feed wrong information to others, you will get ultimate karma. So you must be very careful what goes inside this. What goes inside this. And what you see will either deplete your energy or increase your energy. If there is an accident on the road, there will be hundreds of spectators standing around that accident and watching. If you stand there, either go and help or get out of that place. My uncle always tells, if there is an accident, he will stop the vehicle and see if he is anywhere related to us, any friend or relative. Otherwise, he will just leave. In a way, it is good. He is very clear. Either he must be a friend or relative, then I will help, otherwise not. But there are spectators who just watch. If you are continuously watching somebody who is in the pain, you are depleting your energy. So what you see is your choice. But that choice is either increasing your energy or decreasing your energy. If there is any unnecessary thoughts, immediately you must observe the breath. And you must disconnect from it. So you must be aware of what you see, what you eat, what you speak, what you hear. Once in a session, I told every day for next one week, start improving your smelling capacity by taking different objects and enjoying the fragrance. I did not tell any rules. I thought people will go out, they will start taking different flowers and then they will do all the fragrances. But to my surprise, 
one lady has given me a very big message whatever is in the house the rim soap the sabina the penile everything she started smelling then i i became little aware i should have given the clarifications properly so rather than improving they might have got damaged also. so anything related to the nature next day i updated so what you smell is also important there is a tamil great yogi is called tirumular i read one of the statement he wrote and i really got shocked he said eating non veg alone is not karma eating non veg alone is not karma even if you smell it it's a karma i was really blown with this statement can i deny i don't know yesterday i went to a xerox shop i want to scan my passport because i am traveling in the month of june but next to that shop there was a chicken shop and there is no other xerox shop nearby there is a big test for me so i thought okay i am not going to see that side i'll just finish my work and get out and this guy he said no hurry sir we'll do it slowly so you don't my you don't know my position then slowly that smell started coming then this tirumular words started coming you are smelling you will get karma then i have to literally take my handkerchief close my mouth and bear that without the breath for 5 minutes finish the job i got out from the trees but i am happy i practiced what i know one thing we deplete our energy if you go against your will so you must take care of yourself with all the senses remember it is your life whether it is a family duty or whatever it is give 10% importance give 90% importance to you your life your soul has decided finally if you die if we die we will go alone and answer for all our success and failures whatever is your dharma do it do more sadhana enjoy your life live for yourself whatever the duties you keep doing it but don't dedicate the whole life for the family small children when they require more time give it no no time for the big children let them take care of their lives don't continuously be behind them all the time whatever is needed do it if you start thinking too much about them that too much worries comes too much expectations builds so what is required you give and give more time about your sadhana your book reading when you change the whole house changes when your vibration increases when you cook that food everybody is going to eat in your house the change will automatically come when you meditate more your family vibrations will increase people will the thinking will start changing that is how we are going to change remember every word you speak what you eat what you smell what you see what you hear what you think what you touch is either depleting your energy or increasing your energy only by being more aware you will understand you will become more wise of increasing your cosmic energy more and more then your third eye opens then the astral traveling happens then you will start seeing your past lives then your awareness increases then your health will be good then the telepathy works the quality of life will increase if the quality of life increases the quality of meditation will increase If the quality of meditation increases the quality of life increases both help each other thank you my dear friends